What's up guys, this is Easy Philosophy, and welcome back to Part 8, Habit 8, Find Your Voice and Inspire Others to Find Theirs. This is what highly successful people do constantly. Let's dive in to what Covey calls the Four Intelligences by taking a subjective look about what's commonly known as the rat race. Imagine this, you are the average employee and you sit in an office chair all day, so physical is not right. You are writing emails, scanning and printing paper, writing down notes, working in a Microsoft Excel sheet, and all in all, everything is set and done. You're supposed to do your step-by-step -step process until your shift is over. If problems come up, you're expected to solve them, but that rarely pays off. So intellectual is also not right. Then you think, when was the last time your boss acknowledged your hard work? Well, gratitude isn't your boss's thing. That's what the money's for, Don Draper once said. Oh wait, you almost forgot. You are getting paid half the minimum wage because you're an intern, and therefore not as valuable as Dave here, who is sick every Monday and who is constantly telling you that he has over 20 years of experience with this job, while you're fixing the things he screwed up. So emotional is also not correct. If you have to do this until you're 65, as it stands now, you should just quit. It's only gonna get worse. So spiritual is also not correct. So why did we cross those four words out? These four words are highly suppressed under the economic system we live in. Hence, it shouldn't come as a surprise that we're facing a serious increase of cases of severe depression and suicide rates when we deny our true nature. Being civilized used to mean something good. Nowadays, it's just an ad hominem to throw in for, for someone who is losing an argument. As humans, we are very susceptible to the influence of others, especially when they're trying to drag us down. You might be having a great day when someone negative ruins it by letting their frustration out on you. It spreads like a disease, and so Covey lists five cancerous behaviors that inhibit us from greatness. Number one is criticism. Number two is complaining. Number three is comparing. Number four is competing. And number five is contending. And guess what? The office you just worked in is full of it. Having a traditional job as your main income source is fairly common, but in today's world, we can't merely rely on our company's loyalty towards us to keep our employment. Even more, those cancerous behaviors are slowly, but surely, making us miserable. We need to establish income sources and build or acquire assets that will soften, if not prevent, our fall from grace. You, I, and everybody else on this planet are able to discover our voice because of three gifts we are all born with. We were born with, number one, the freedom to choose. We should be grateful that we live in an age where we can decide for ourselves what profession we want to pursue. In the Middle Ages, many farmers who were born in poverty without so-called royalty in their blood, they weren't allowed to become knights, pursue a life of luxury, and, very, and had very hard and short lives without many of the great things we enjoy today. You may not be a privileged child with incredibly rich parents, but you sure can accumulate wealth on your own and live the life you desire only 
if you truly want to. Plus, since necessity rules the world, those rich kids have no, no need to work hard. In a strange way, you've got the upper hand for not having everything handed to you. It's a blessing. Number two is natural principles. Fairness, kindness, respect, honesty, integrity, service, and contribution. These laws of nature are what makes us human. They influence our decision making for the better. Number three is the four intelligences. Mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Each of them are unique in their own way and they're heavily linked to each other and work best in synergy. You, like all the great achievers in history, can express your voice through developing your mental energy into a vision, through developing your physical energy into discipline, through developing your emotional energy into passion, and through developing your spiritual energy into conscience, which is your sense of right and wrong in your dive towards discovering what life has to offer and sharing them with everyone else. This is what many modern day masters, such as very Gary Vaynerchuk, Tim Ferriss, Seth Godin, refer to as storytelling. This is one of the most important skills we can acquire regardless of what human interaction you are indulging in, like selling or going to a job interview. It's finding your voice, learning how to channel it in the most expressive way possible, and getting others to find their own voice, which in and of itself is very noble and a selfless cause. Thanks for watching! Now go get the books!